In this class we're going to look at concentric diversification. Now, this occurs when a firm adds related products or markets. When a firm expands and relate, uh, adds related products and markets to its portfolio of output. The goal of such diversification is to achieve strategic fit. In other words, it may be adding uh, activities which fill out its range of outputs. It, it, it meets with its strategies. It completes its strategy. So whatever its strategy is, perhaps there was a component missing, and it diversifies into the production of the component or product which now completes the amount of output or the, the range of output it produces, so it meets the overall strategy. Strategic fit allows an organization to achieve synergy. Now synergy, this word synergy is to do with uh, combining activities within a business so that the combined effect is greater than the individual contributions of each of the activities. So when a number of activities can come together and the final effect is greater than if the individual activities had been performed alone, we call this synergy. Synergy is fitting together activities so as to get a greater impact. In essence, synergy is the ability of two or more parts of an organization to achieve greater total effectiveness together than would be experienced if the efforts, had, uh, the efforts of the independent parts were summed. So in other words, when you can combine two or more aspects of the business, then the output, uh, the combined output from those is greater than if the individual parts had worked separately. So synergy is looking at efficiencies, efficiencies in combining inputs to get outputs. And sometimes when efficiencies are sought and different activities are brought together, the combined output is greater than would have been achieved individually. Let's talk about synergy a bit more. The term synergy is used to describe the effect of multiple ele elements of a system working together to create the common good. So it's when a number of parts of the business work together and fit together closely so as to meet some desired output. Synergy may be achieved by combining firms with complementary marketing, complementary financial services or uh, certain ways of operating or doing things or, or just combining management. They're able to gain synergy. Synergy is this idea of it could be combining two different companies but there are common elements within the business which when they come together they yield good economies, economies of combination. There could be synergy within individual businesses, combining the efforts of some of the production staff in certain ways means that they become even more productive because they are being combined in particularly efficient ways. Or as I said here, it could be combining businesses so that uh, certain parts of the businesses could work together yielding a far greater output. When shops in an area combine to advertise the area, the all, all of the shops benefit from the increased sales. They're actually marketing the area. Making the area more attractive means more visitors, means the shops benefit from the increased sales. Financial synergy may be obtained by combining a firm with strong financial resources but perhaps limited growth opportunities, with the company having 
greater market potential but weak financial resources. So it may be that one company has got a lot of financial resource but it's weak in the marketplace. It doesn't have the, the skills or the ability to develop products that meet market requirements. And another company who's very good at meeting market requirements but perhaps for all sorts of reasons is short on financial resources. They come together, they form one strong company. For example, debt-ridden companies may seek to acquire firms that are relatively debt-free to increase the leveraged firm's borrowing capacity. Uh, leveraged means uh, a firm which has borrowed a lot of uh, capital and perhaps owes a lot to the banks. So it's highly leveraged. So here, in this example, a company with a lot of debt uh, tries to form a relationship with a company with little debt so that it may borrow even more money from the banks to finance perhaps some sort of expansion. Similarly, firms sometimes attempt to stabilize earnings by diversifying into businesses with different seasonal or cyclical sales patterns. Um, a company that produces Christmas cards may also start to produce Easter cards or birthday cards or special occasions cards. So it's a case of uh, companies with a high, highly seasonal demand might start to produce and diversify in ways to produce cards, let's say business cards or uh, personal cards or birthday cards or whatever it is. They start to use their resources in ways to make the resources, uh, use the resources I should say more efficiently and also to minimize risk, to reduce the risk in just having one line of output. It's looking for ways to combine resources efficiently. It's looking for synergy. Strategic fit in operations could result in synergy by the combination of operating units to improve overall efficiency. It could be. Just looking at uh, the business, looking at uh, different units within the business, perhaps just combining the units in a, a novel way, in a, an innovative fashion, will generate more output. It may be just reorganizing the existing business that generates the synergy. Could be combining two units so that duplicate equipment or research and development are eliminated and this would improve overall efficiency. Um, it could be that two parts of the business have a specialist machine, whereas if the two parts came together the one specialist machine would be sufficient. So it's just looking at efficiencies, looking at um, ways in which the, the business operates and looking for uh, more efficient ways of doing it. Quantity discounts through combining orders would be another possible way of uh, operating uh, synergy. Uh, when a business places orders for products, combine the, combine the orders to try and get bigger discounts. Perhaps stationery for different parts of the office is being ordered separately. Well, combine it into one order and try and get a, a better discount because the order is bigger. Uh, it could be that the, the business uh, look for ways of improving efficiency to diversify into areas that uh, can use byproducts from existing operations. Um, if it's a a woodworking business, then perhaps the uh, the waste, the wood shavings that are a byproduct of making, let's say, making furniture, 
the wood shavings could be sold on to the, the pet industry and used as bedding for certain animals. Could be. So it's looking at the, the wastage from one business as an important input into another business. Or it could be, for example, some electric generating companies sell steam and hot water to heat local houses. To heat local houses. Um, could be. Management synergy can be achieved when management experience uh, and expertise is applied to different situations. Uh, management, for example, may have a wide variety of experiences, but when different experiences are brought together, perhaps better decision making will result. Type of synergy. Perhaps a manager's expertise uh, or experience in working with trade unions in one company could be applied to labour management problems in another company. Could be. Um, the, the HR people are experienced in dealing with trade unions in one company so to go to work in another company and they can bring that expertise with them. Caution must be exercised however uh, in assuming that management experience is universally transferable. It's not. Uh, management experience may be confined to a particular type of product or a particular industry and taking the management out of that industry and asking them to work in a different industry may be too much. They may not have that expertise. Situations that appear similar may require significantly uh, different management strategies. Could be the case that uh, the situations are so different that the management skills are not transferable. There could be personality clashes and other situational differences that make management synergy difficult to achieve. Um, it's not a smooth exercise moving managers from one industry or one type of organisation into another. The whole process of moving the management may lead to personality problems and jealousy because some people have been overlooked for promotion and uh, resentment to change. Although management or managerial skills and experience uh, can be transferred, individual managers may not be able to make the transfer effectively. It could be just simply down to the individual who for all sorts of reasons doesn't want to apply him or herself in a different situation. They know what they know. They're happy with the type of industry they're working in, they know the industry, they quite like the product, they like the industry and they don't want to make the transition and take their skills into a different area. Could be the case. So in looking at synergy there's a lot to consider. Uh, looking for synergy in management may be complex for some of the ideas that we've just discussed and which are currently on the screen. But there are all sorts of issues surrounding production, uh, different merging different departments, uh, looking for synergy outside of the business to look into other companies. Um, so it's not an easy activity, but if it works then it yields efficiencies which will reduce costs, it may lead to diversification, it may lead to new product development, to innovations in the product. It has a lot of positives but there are problems with, uh, with looking for synergy in the business. It's not um, an easy activity to uh, find or to engage in. That's all I really want to do in this session is talk about um, diversification, um, mostly concentric diversification and talk about synergy and the issues surrounding synergy 
and looking for synergy within uh, business diversification. So let's leave it at that and say thank you for watching.